This video is sponsored by Audio. Hey, what's up film crew friend? If you have the Tilta Mirage matte box and you've been wondering what the different filter options can do for your image, then you're in the right spot because I've been adding several of these Vaxxas VFX filters to my Tilta Mirage matte box kit. And in this video, we're gonna be comparing what these different filters can do for your image from everything from this anamorphic streak filter to the black mist filters to even the one that looks like it has little cupcake sprinkles all dazzled all over it. And then we can determine which of these filters are right for you so let's dive into it i am using this tilta mirage matte box for this shoe on the fx3 i have a whole bunch of filters here made by vaxis these are the vaxis vfx filters so i'm going to be using most likely one eighth black mist filter or i'm going to use this quarter black mist filter i think probably the quarter is the best route for this we're going to be shooting models and fashion so this will just smooth out the skin just a little bit and make the highlights bloom all right so first let's take a look at what you get with each filter so they come in a really nice brown alcantara leather pouch nicely stitched with the vaxis logo imprinted here on the front it also has a nice magnetic closure which is really snappy and strong and this is way better than like a velcro pouch in my opinion on the back side you have a big legible label so it's easy to read and you won't be fumbling around on a dark set trying to determine which of these filters that you have in your hand so inside the pouch it actually has this soft velvety material just to keep your filter from getting scratched and then on the filter itself you have a tiny little inscription that actually says what the filter is because let's say you have two black mist filters out there and you need to know which strength is which and you don't want to get them mixed up either so there's a little inscription there but don't worry this won't show up on your image all right we like that frame <laughs> So, so far the shoe is going as planned. Everything's good. We got some drone shots. We got some Ronin shots. We're moving on to our fifth or sixth look of the day and then we'll be out of here. So let's talk about these filters. So I've been using these Vaxxas VFX filters on all kinds of professional sets and Vaxxas actually worked in collaboration with Tilta to create this new 95 millimeter circular filter designed specifically for this Tilta Mirage matte box and the reason they did that is because they created a super lightweight filter option that's way more cost effective especially once you're in this Tilta Mirage system and especially compared to a traditional rectangular filter like this so these things Thick pieces of glass are four by five six five filters and they weigh 135 grams compared to this which only weighs 30 grams so less than a quarter of the weight of a traditional filter now vaxis they do make these filters in the traditional rectangular size just like this except they are over 300 a piece just like every other filter company that's making these so whenever you consider that these are over 300 versus these that are between 50 and 60 dollars these are way more affordable in my opinion and the only difference is you get a lot less glass with these Vaxxas did send me some of these filters, but this video is not sponsored by Vaxxas. However, this video is sponsored by Audio. All the music and sound effects that you're hearing in this video came from Audio. And the best part is you can get unlimited downloads for your personal projects and your client work. That's huge for me. If you work as a videographer, then you know that being able to license music for your commercial work, social media, podcasts, even your YouTube videos without any worries of getting a copyright claim is major. And once you've got your music, your music license never expires. 
They have thousands of high quality songs and new music added daily. We all know that finding the perfect song for your film or your commercial can make or break the vibe of your whole creative vision. So audio makes it easy to navigate through their music with curated playlists, or you can break it down into different genres, moods, video themes, beats per minute, or even if you want a specific instrument. And that's whether you want music with vocals or just instrumentals. Audio offers a couple different unlimited download plans. I have the pro plan, and if you use my link down in the description below, I can get you 70% off the pro plan. Instead of $200, that's only $59 for your first year of unlimited downloads of music and sound effects for all your filmmaking needs. Sign up today using my link below and use the code PRO70 to claim your 70% off discount from audio.com. Thanks to Audio for sponsoring this video. Now, let's break down this class. First up, we have the Rainbow Dazzle V-Streak filter. This filter actually looks like it was made out of a birthday cake with little sprinkles all over it. But these little sprinkles are pink, orange, teal, blue, green, yellow, all different kinds of colors. And they actually join up in a couple places, which makes a really cool looking colorful starburst effect like this. I can see this filter being used in music videos or any kind of stylistic creative look that you may be wanting to achieve with a little color flare inside your images. This is the VI line star cross filter. The VI is the Roman numeral for six. And in this particular pattern, it makes specular highlights in your image turn into a star with six points. So they also offer this in a four star filter that actually gives you four points whenever you point your camera towards a bright light or something like that. But I find that whenever I'm shooting product jewelry for clients who really wanna make something sparkle, that I like six points better on my image. It also works on lights and things like that in your image, but I like using this for just creating that little bit of bling on there. So I like this filter a lot. Now these are my most used filters. These are the black mist filters. I use them so much that I actually have two different strengths. I have the black mist one eighth and the black mist one quarter. So the smaller the fraction, the weaker the strength of the mist is. So one eighth being weaker than one fourth. Now, why is this my favorite filter? So this filter is notorious for giving off a filmic look by softening the digital look of many sharp mirrorless cameras like this Sony FX3 here, but it also softens the skin on the close-ups of your model or actor, and it reduces blemishes and wrinkles by a little bit. So the stronger the strength, the more it'll smooth out that skin. So I often use this filter as a beauty filter whenever I'm shooting close-ups of a model or something like that. And the other distinguished feature of this filter is the blooming of the highlights. So you can see how the 1 8 strength is compared to the 1 quarter strength. And you can also stack these filters up too if you really need to like double up or whatever, but I don't recommend on going too much stronger than 1 quarter or 1 half because it starts to look very stylistic and soft. It even kind of looks like a glamour shot if you go too crazy with it. But depending on your setup, if you need these filters and a VND filter at the same time, you can add on the additional filter tray like this, and then you can have your ND in one tray, and then you can add this on, and then you have your mist filter behind that. So adding different layers onto this matte box can cause some awful tunneling and vignetting if you go too far with it, but just be sure to check out my other video if you wanna see the examples of that and how wide angle you can go. And in that video, I go over all the extra parts that I've added, including the Tilta Nucleus motor that controls this variable ND wirelessly. So I have a little motor that actually can control this neutral density filter. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you wanna check that stuff out. Next, you have the Animorph fixed streak filters that you see in a lot of movies and that's created by these v-streak filters they have the orange v-streak they also offer this filter in white streaks or blue streaks I personally kind of like the warm look that the orange streaks give you, but maybe down the road, I'll add on one of the blue streaks or the white streaks just for a little bit more variety. 
So you just pop on the little black bars on top and bottom of your image. And hey, it looks like you have a nice Hollywood budget anamorphic lens on your set for just a fraction of the price. And keep in mind that whenever you're actually mounting this on your lens, you need to have the streaks facing up and down to get those horizontal anamorphic streaks that we're used to seeing. So just keep that in mind. You would think that you would put the lines this way to get that look but in reality you actually put this vertical so just a lot of different filter options that you can do with this matte box and i highly recommend adding quite a few filters to your kit if you want to get all kinds of different looks and just be ready in your toolbox for whenever the job calls and i'm really enjoying having so many filter options for this lightweight matte box so if you guys are interested in checking any of these out i'll have links to everything down in the description below for you to be able to grab some also don't forget to hit the like button while you're down there and leave me a comment if you have any questions about anything at all shoot for the stars and i'll see you guys very soon in the next video